So I just wanted to show you how the hypothesis annotation function works when you are reading a course uh, or blog post on your our course blog. So here I'm in Canvas, and um, you know this is me messing around with our module before I published anything. But uh, say you're scrolling down, and I have a link to the module blog post, which will be clearly labeled. You click on it, and then you would click this button, open the blog post in a new window and it would bring you to our course blog. And the way I've set it up, which will hopefully work, is that Hypothesis is automatically set to load in your browser because um, I've included a little uh, precursor to the web address. So what happens is you'll come up to you know the blog post that I've linked to here, and then up in the corner you'll see a little arrow that you can press. That's the annotation sidebar. So you can press that to open it up, and the default is that you will be um, set to the public chat in Hypothesis. Now, I recommend joining our uh, class group, which is HIST 110 Fall 2020. That way, the annotations that you're making, the questions you're asking, are only going to be seen by me and your classmates rather than you know the general public, although the general public is probably not going to be reading our course blog. That's just something to keep in mind. So. You've launched the um, hypothesis sidebar, you've joined our class group, everything's all set, you're ready to read and comment on and ask questions about material. So say you've just been reading along and everything's going fine, except, oh, I have a question about this particular word. So you would highlight, highlight it. This little box will pop up asking you if you want to highlight something or if you want to annotate. So you click annotate. You'll go over here and you can see your username will pop up. It'll be, mean this means that you'll be annotating in our class group, and here's a box that asks or allows you to ask the particular question. So, what do you mean by social? Oops, just whatever question you want. You can post it, and then that um, annotation will show up as a highlight. So, when everybody else is reading, they can click on it. It'll pop up, and you can see the annotation. Now um, you can also reply to someone else's. So say you had to, you know, you wanted to answer the question someone else posed. You could answer the question here and then post. Um, there's a whole bunch of different options. You can scroll down and you know keep annotating. You can um, uh, pose a new question for people to answer. Whatever you want. I'm just going to delete that um, annotation just because it doesn't really make any sense. Um, one other thing that you can do is if you're scrolling and you, you, you're getting overwhelmed with all of the highlights that have been appeared, you can click this little eyeball and what it does is it'll minimize or take away all the other highlights so you can't see them. So if that's something that bothers you, um, in, you know, sort of from a visual um, aspect when you're highlighting, keep that in mind. You can also annotate by adding a page note to the actual um, page. So this is not a note that's attached to any particular piece of text. It's only attached to the web page itself, and that is an option for you too. So um, that is how Hypothesis works with our class blog. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you all are going to be annotating. All right, thanks.